My name is Lauren McNichols with ECRM, and we are at the Food Service Week session taking place in Brazelton, Georgia. And I have with me Jennifer and Sarah with Twin Heart Foods, and we're going to basically <laughs> we're going to basically talk about their first time with ECRM and talk about a little bit more about their company. So I guess we'll segue right into that. Is tell us more about how your company got started and more about Twin Heart Foods. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so we started in Italy, actually. Uh, of all places, we're California natives, but um, we uh, traveled a lot around Europe. I, I live in Italy actually now, and uh, Jen lives, uh, she was living in London uh, for a little while, and so we both got to travel a lot around Europe, and we tasted a lot of different things that we didn't really get to taste here in the USA, so um, just, I don't know, culinary creations that just kind of wowed us. And one of those that really wowed us was gelato. <laughs> Naturally. Jeez, I wonder why. <laughs> um, so we were really surprised at how delicious it was and how mm -hmm. fresh it was. Mm -hmm. And being women and always, you know, health conscious and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, you eat something and you go, oh my gosh, how many calories was that? <laughs> it was weird because eating gelato, you didn't have that same feeling afterwards mm -hmm. like, oh gosh, I'm packing on the pounds or I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling bloated. <laughs> And we, were, we started to question, why is that? Mm -hmm. um, and we're big health aficionados. We are very much mm -hmm. into healthy eating. And yet, we're foodies. And so we love uh, decadent foods. We love um, foods that inspire mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, where you're not, uh, you know, you're not bored by what's on your plate, <laughs> right? Um, so we said, well, how can we actually bring something like mm -hmm. this to the USA? Because in the USA, even in the gelato shops, I mean, it's, it's not really gelato. Mm -hmm. It's basically glorified ice cream. Um, and gelato and ice cream are very different from one mm -hmm. another. So um, we said, we need to find a way to be able to design a product that we can bring into the USA, where people in America, even those who don't have a lot of time to travel, they can mm -hmm. taste what people are tasting in Europe and be able to have that kind of authentic experience. Wow. Yeah, so it started out actually as a desire to create a really healthy um, but decadent gelato. Mm -hmm. um, it was a gelato formula originally, but we're never satisfied with just, you know, we're innovators, we always have been, we're creative and we have a lot of 3 a.m. creativity <laughs> sessions. Yeah. And so we, we said, what else can we get out of this? What else can we do with this? And yeah. we just continued to experiment and experiment. And so across um, two and three different prototypes, mm -hmm. we finally came to what we have today, which is called Cremeluso. Um, and this is an ultra versatile um, luxury desserts and beverages mix. Yeah. So it's no longer just gelato. We have chefs creating gelato, soft serve, ice cream, milkshakes, novelty items like filled oh, pastries yeah. and um, cakes and pies to like to hot applications like yeah. hot Italian sipping chocolate. Yeah. So hot, hot Italian sipping chocolate is another of those items that you don't mm -hmm. really get here in the U.S. So I mean, if you're like strolling through the old city of Verona and uh -huh. there's hot chocolate, I mean, that's the hot chocolate that you get in Italy. It's very indulgent. It's really rich and creamy. It's like pow. It's like chocolate, yeah. you know. Um, and so uh, what we're doing uh, as one of the items today is we're doing a hot chocolate, a hot Italian sipping chocolate because people need to taste this too. It's <laughs> not like Swiss Miss. It's a whole different experience. It is. I was experiencing it myself. I felt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're obviously talking about all the different segues with your product. Um, tell more of the trends you can see or that we will be seeing with Twin Heart Foods with the Cremula So. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think, as Sarah explained, we 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 wanted to create a product that really responds to the trends and to the demands of the industry. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the unique things about our product are its features and uh, the features and benefits are mm -hmm. that it is a shelf stable. Uh, mm -hmm. liquid formula so it's ready to use it doesn't require frozen or refrigerated shipping mm -hmm. or storage um, so it's literally open the bag pour it into whatever machine uh, mm -hmm. you're gonna be using that day or whatever piece of equipment and within 10 minutes you've got a ready to serve hot or, or frozen or novelty dessert um, so aseptics is actually a huge industry in Europe and it is really growing rapidly in the US it is Yes. Um, as well as obviously the clean label, um, mm -hmm. you know, we have more and more allergies and intolerances and that's just yeah. going to continue to be on the rise. So right now where it's a, co a consumer demand, it will soon be a consumer necessity. So that's what we say to our customers is if you bring this product on the menu now, you're going to be ahead of the trend and you're going to be able to continue mm -hmm. to serve customers as that necessity increases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that definitely makes sense. And then I guess 
this this is obviously your first time with ECRM and your mm -hmm. first session. How's yes. everything going? How is it's it going? going really well. Yeah. <laughs> We've had so much fun. Yeah. Every single one of the buyers has been really nice, which is yes. good. Um, and we've had great conversations. It's been great to know that we are sitting across the table from the actual decision makers. Mm -hmm. um, at your average trade show, you don't really know who's passing by yeah. your booth and you give out a lot of samples and don't necessarily get a lot of uh, fruit from it. So. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, ECRM team has been awesome. I mean, like really, really on top of things. Uh, with how many nuts and bolts and how many moving parts, <laughs> everything is so streamlined. We are, we've been tremendously, tremendously impressed. Great, we love always to hear that. <laughs> What's coming up next for Twin Heart Foods? Well, there's always something coming up next. <laughs> Depends on when the, the next sleepless night we dream of. <laughs> well, we're really excited. We have a vegan version of our product coming out just oh in the next uh, probably six weeks. And yeah. it's going to be the same features and benefits, same format, but non-dairy. And it's going to be the best, best, best dairy product oh my on the market. It's for sure. really uh, non-dairy product. On the it's really yummy. Oh my gosh, we can't yeah. wait. We can't wait we to can't see. Wait <laughs> Everybody is overall just really excited. Uh, yeah, so are we. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's everything that we have, and we're very excited. Thank you again so much for joining us at our session and joining ECRM. We look forward to seeing more of Twin Heart Foods. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for inviting us. Thanks, ladies. We're honored to be here.